Hi hello everyone welcome to Green Engineer channel. Today we will understand about the 10 tips to protect yourself from electric shock or a electric hazard. These tips can be followed by individuals at home and outdoors as preventive measures and react immediately when the situation arises. Now we shall move into the content. What is an electric shock? Electric shock is a sudden discharge of electricity through a part of the body. Exposure to electrical energy may result in no injury at all or may result in devastating damage or even electrocution. Electrocution is the injury or killing of someone by electric shock. The table here shows the affect of electric current on human body. The first safety aspect of any electrical is proper earthing. When proper earthing is there life risk will be minimal. When earthing of your equipment is good, you will not be affected with shock as the earth takes it. The green figure shows that the fault current moves to earth, so their person is safe because of proper earthing. The red figure shows that the fault current moves through person as no earth is present, so person is unsafe. Most electric shocks in home are due to wet conditions. Never switch on or off switches after bath or during bath. Educate family members to avoid touching electrical devices when they are wet, in water, or standing on a wet surface. Keep yourself dry while using electrical things in kitchen. Place a double plastic transparent cover over switches to avoid shock when switches are too old or sparks coming while switching. The most dangerous situation is if an active power line falls onto your running car or vehicle, it can charge the car with electricity, meaning that you have to act with extreme caution to avoid getting electrocuted. Case 1. If your car isn't on fire. Don't touch the car's frame metal body. Immediately call for emergency. Case 2. If your car is on fire. Cross your arms over your body to make yourself as small and compact as possible. Exit the car by jumping free, both legs simultaneously, of the vehicle without making contact with the metal inside of the car. Hold your legs together, shuffle or hop to safety with both of your feet together on the ground until you are 50 to 60 feet from the car or a vehicle. Warn other approaching cars what has happened, and tell them not to approach or touch the car or power line. Ground fault circuit interrupters have saved thousands of lives since their introduction. Now a days GFCI has become mandatory in many home wiring installations. A GFCI or RCCB or ELCB or AFCI are intended to safely trip the circuit and protect the person. GFCI are found in newer homes, usually in the kitchen, bathroom, laundry room, and garage. A fault current as low as 4 mA to 6 mA activates the GFCI and interrupts the circuit. Once activated, the fault condition is cleared and the GFCI manually resets before power may be restored to the circuit. GFCI is able to detect as little as a 0.005 amp leak, a GFCI can shut down a circuit within 0.025 seconds, helping prevent serious electrical shocks. A GFCI is an electrical device which protects personnel by detecting potentially hazardous ground faults and quickly disconnecting power from the circuit. The figure shows a four-pole GFCI with a switch and trip button. We shall now understand the working of GFCI. A GFCI works by comparing the amount of electrical current coming into a circuit that is the live wire with the amount leaving that is the neutral wire. From above figure, GFCI will not trip as neutral current is equal to phase current, that means 1 ampere of current going into load and 1 ampere of current is returning, so circuit is normal. From below figure, GFCI is tripped as neutral current is not equal to phase current, that means 1 ampere of current going into load and 0.9 ampere of current is returning, 0.1 ampere of current is going to a person. So GFCI will trip the circuit and the person is safe. What could you do when you are struck in thunder? Firstly follow the the 30 to 30 rule 30 seconds. K1. 
count the seconds between seeing lightning and hearing thunder. If this time is less than 30 seconds, lightning is a threat. Seek shelter immediately. Crouch down low like a baseball catcher. Get as low as you can. The nearer you are to the ground, the less likely you are to be struck by lightning. Place hands over ears to minimize hearing loss from the loud clap of thunder that will boom very close to you. The only thing touching the ground should be the balls of your feet. Touch the heels of your feet together. Other tips to protect yourself are Stay away from objects that conduct electricity like barbed wire fences, power lines, windmills. Remove any metal objects, like necklaces or a piercings, they could channel the electric current through you. Never lie flat on the ground. Immediately get off elevated areas such as hills, mountain ridges or peaks, ponds, lakes and other bodies of water. What you have to do when there is thunder lightning at home. Firstly switch off mobiles and stop using even landlines. Turn off electric equipment air conditioners, freezers, TV with STB dish cable, microwaves, PC and Wi-Fi. When bound to heavy thunders in your area install a lightning arrestor. Stay away from windows and doors, and stay off porches. Avoid plumbing, including sinks, baths. Do not lie or lean on concrete floors, walls. Another important electrical device to safeguard you items is voltage stabilizer. It is always advisable to have a stabilizer for entire home. When stabilizer is installed only the stabilizer gets damaged in surges or lightning conditions, but the device will be safe. There will be very less chances of fires at home. Even manufacturer says electrical items have inbuilt stabilizer but it is recommended to install one. Installing a surge protection device at home will protect your home equipment and wiring from high voltage spikes and lightning. If the voltage from the main surges or spikes rises above the accepted level, then the surge protector diverts the extra energy or extra voltage into ground or earth wire. Surge shown in figure changes its status color to red when spike occurs in a circuit. Then we need to change that particular cartridge. When kids, children, or toddlers are at home we need to take extra care about electrical appliances and their use. We should never repair a broken cord with tapes, because all kids are engineers and aspirants. Unplug all chargers when not in use, as children will keep in their mouth. Never leave any hanging wires, all hanging wires need to be not. Close all power sockets which are in reach of children. Tamper resistant receptacles, TRRs, provide a simple, permanent solution for preventing common childhood shock and electrical burn injuries caused by tampering with a wall outlet. Beware of fire. We need to react immediately in case of fire. We need to keep a fire extinguisher probably an ABC type fire extinguisher so that it can be used for all fires in home. Follow pass procedure to use fire extinguisher. P means pull the pin, A means aim the nozzle at base fire, S means squeeze the handle, S means sweep the nozzle side to side. Use a line tester if found any parts are live. The chart shows the different kinds of fires and their extinguishers. What is to be done for treating a person who is affected with electric shock? Primarily eliminate contact with the electrical source immediately. If the individual has trouble or stopped breathing, perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR, immediately. Prevent shock, by making the individual lay down with legs raised above their heart level, and cover him with a blanket. If there are minor external burns, it is to be cooled with running water but not ice, or soak for 10 minutes, until the burnt area cools down. Then, cover the affected area with a sterile gauze or cloth. Seek help from a medical professional, as early as possible. How should we perform CPR? Push hard and fast in between nipples with 30 compressions. Open mouth and give 2 breaths. Repeat 30 compressions and 2 breaths till patient recovers or help arrives.
Thank you for watching. Please follow the guidelines shown in the video and stay safe. Please post your comment. Please do subscribe our channel, and click the bell for latest updates. Meet you in our next video. Thank you.